Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland, coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Jonathan Burney, Chief Operating Officer at Chiora. Welcome to JSA TV, Jonathan. Hi, Laura. It's great to, great to be here virtually with you. Absolutely. Well, we're glad you're here, and we would love for you to start off by telling our viewers who may not know about Chiora, what Chiora is and what you do. Yeah, thanks. Th thanks very much. Well, um, uh, Chiora is a, is, is a passion for, for me and uh, Oliver Jones and Stephen Sow, who fa founded the business um, in 2011. And uh, our, our business is uh, a data center developer, investor and operator um, focused exclusively on China. Um, but we create data center campuses on a, on a, on a very large scale. And, and our proposition to the market, and we we're, a, we're very much a customer focused business, is to deliver international standard data centers. Um, and uh, I think, uh, you know, there've been, there's been all sorts of momentum around the data center market. And, um, you know, we feel as though we're, we're in a very exciting time. Um, as, as the data center market um, blossoms and grows um, in the sort of environment that we're in, we're in just, at, just at the moment. Um, and uh, our, our, challenge, our challenge right now is to go fast enough. Mm. That's a good problem to have. And, and I know Chayora is working uh, with a lot of progress. Um, we've seen over the last 18 months, two years, um, a lot of uh, mentioned in the news and speaking of news want to see if you have any updates or, or recent news you'd like to share with our viewers at this year's ITW virtual event. Sure well I, I mean I think I think you know uh, it, it would be um, clear to everybody that we've been going through a world, world event and uh, uh, you know China has been operating at a different speed uh, to the rest of the world um, obviously experienced coronavirus COVID-19 before anybody else, but that means that it's come out uh, earlier as well. Um, and what that has meant is that um, we've been able to restart work in China on our data center in Tianjin. And, and if you remember, um, we announced earlier, uh, uh, actually on January the 16th um, of this year, that we had entered a partnership with Telstra. And uh, uh, having been able to restart um, the construction of our data center, and this is the MEP fit out. We're now able to take advantage of that partnership. And, uh, and certainly by the uh, Q4 of this year, we'll have our first data halls ready to go in partnership with, uh, with Telstra. So, you know, it's, it's, it's the coming together of uh, all these sort of exciting elements uh, and, and actually delivering this international standard data center, um, only about 120 kilometers from, from, from Beijing. The really exciting thing about it is that um, uh, because of the environment where we're in, where people are much more reliant on on, on the internet and and virtual uh, and the virtual world, the demand for data centers and connectivity is clearly rising, um, and so customers are very keen to discover when we're going to be ready, what's going to be ready, and how fast can we go once uh, once we're in place. So that's that's one of the things that's happening. Um, we're also um, kicking off the expansion of this data, this exist, existing first phase of the data center. So we're going to commence the second phase as well during the course of this year. And, and we're also working hard on identifying a site in Shanghai. Um, so we're, we're, we're quite busy um, and, uh, you know, hoping to take, take, um, take the opportunities that are presented to us at, uh, at the moment. So it's going to be a busy second half of the year for sure. Absolutely. Well, we will definitely be watching and, and seeing the progress uh, on a busy 2020 for Chiora for sure and beyond it, yeah. it, it sounds like. Where, yeah, can our viewers, where can our viewers go to learn more about Chiora and, and all of your great updates? Sure. Well, uh, I mean, uh, we, 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 um, we obviously use uh, things like LinkedIn. So that's where our sort of uh, a lot of our day to day news uh, 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 arises, but also our website at uh, www.chayora.com, um, where we're able, to, where we provide provide updates. But also, 
you know, if people are interested, we're also very happy to have a discussion about the, the you know, the detail of what we're doing in terms of uh, updates. And 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 it is changing on a day to day basis. I mean, we're we're in a we're in a hugely dynamic market at the moment. So, um, uh, you know. People will, I, I hope, see lots of announcements on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, certainly, as we get towards the the, the fourth quarter of this year, um, you know, many, many more, many, many more positive announcements as well coming out. Wonderful! You heard it from Jonathan. Go check out Cheora and learn more. We we thank you so much, Jonathan, for joining us. It's always a pleasure, and uh, thank you for sharing your insights and your time. No, thanks for taking the time, Laura. Thank you. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.